Good morning, good morning, my beautiful collective. Happy Wednesday, guys. I hope all of you guys are doing well this morning, okay? Your girl is up on the move, okay? I hope you guys are driving safe. People out here driving like crazy this morning. Like, it's like people still sleep. They out here driving like no sis. And they're broke. Go back home and get some rest. But... How collective, let me tell y'all. Come on in. So, I was driving to work and I was getting some collective messages for some of you guys. Take this message as it resonates to you and your story. If it's not you, please don't force it, don't make it fit. None of that. If this is not you, excuse me, if this is not you, it can be somebody around you, okay? So Somebody here is going to be, like, famous. I don't know who you are, all right? But somebody here is going to be, like, famous. I was here autobiography when I was rolling down the street. Autobiography. Whoever you are, and they just start giving me little scenes in my head. Like, some of you guys are going to have, like, a movie or something that people can actually see of your life. Like, you are somebody that has been through a lot, and I feel like Spirit wants you to show it to the world. Show people what you've been through and how you got to where you are now is what I'm picking up. Um, This is going to be beautiful. Whoever you are, you are definitely going to make history. I was also picking up somebody here is royalty. Somebody here is truly royalty, okay? I'm not saying we all not royalty, but somebody here, like your roots, wherever it is you come from, something of the sort, your bloodline, somebody here, you are true royalty. Like, you don't even know it yet. You are true, true royalty. You come from a royal bloodline whoever you are. So some of you guys are definitely meant to be famous, okay? You're going to share your story and it's going to touch a lot of lives, whoever you are. People, they may look at you and they can't tell what you've been through. Yep, look, eight of cups flipped over. Some of you guys had to leave some people behind, some places, shit. Some of y'all had to move and relocate from people. Like, yeah, look, the lovers. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Gemini or you are a Gemini. The lovers. Yeah, the emperor. Wow, look at that. The lovers and the emperor. But some of y'all, your, your divine partner is on his way. Girl, I'm on the way. Ay, 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 ay. That's what he said. He on the way. What is this for the collective? <laughs> I feel like this emperor too could be you guys. Some of y'all are like true bosses. Like you handle your shit. Whoever you are. What else for the collective this morning? What do my collective need to know? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Ooh. Yeah, here we go with the bull. We got five of swords coming out, so there's some jealousy coming out here, collective. Pure jealousy. Like, I don't get it. Like, in order for you to tell this story, collective, you have obviously went through it. So, people, they out here jealous and they mad, but could they have walked in your shoes? Could they have went through the storm? that you've been through five of swords like this what kills me about people like you jealous but maybe something this person speaks about or tells the world about can inspire your jealous ass or help you in the long run because whoever this jealous energy is they're gonna go through some obstacles of course Especially with this type of energy they putting out into the universe. The jealousy, the hate, the envy. Like, it's it's just not right. Yeah, look. Nine of Pentacles. There's so many cards flipping out. Nine of Pentacles. This is you. That's what they mad at. Tower. I'm telling y'all. Some of y'all are about to blow. 
in a good way. People wanted to betray you. People do not want this opportunity to come to you. Some of y'all are going to be seen like worldwide. You're going to be on TV, something like that. What is this? They're going to make a whole movie about your life collective and what you look. Three of Pentacles, I'm telling you. There's going to be people that want to work with you. They're going to want to talk to you. And know what you've been through. This shit is going to blow. Whoever this opportunity is going to look. Knight of Cups, Three of Wands. Some of y'all been waiting to tell your story. Some of you guys are inspired to do this. Yeah? What is this for the collective? What else do they need to know? I said some of y'all may have needed to move away. Six of Swords. Some of you guys may need to relocate or you already have Six of Swords. What is this for the collective? Yeah, Six of Wands so you can win. Yes, Holy Spirit. I love it. This is Spirit doing this. You had to move away so you can win. That's Six Six right there. Somebody put it in the comments. What is Six Six? But look at that victory success you gotta move up and forward like you gotta move away from whatever the hell this is look i'm telling you look six another six so we got three sixes here six 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 what is that y'all look we got six of pentacles six of wands six of swords that's six 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 coming out right there Somebody please could put it in the comments below. I'm going to look it up anyway. I may just pin it down there in the comments. But we got 666 coming out here. Like, for some of y'all, spirit wants y'all to move. You are meant to be famous, but you got to make the right move is what he's saying here. Some of y'all got to relocate in order for this to, like, activate for you. Ooh, all the cards just fell, y'all. All of them. You guys are, like, winning at this time. I'm telling you. Look, the full card. I'm telling you. You guys are winning. You're going to be in the spotlight, whoever you are. The sun card, bottom of the day. I'm telling you. You are a star. The hermit. Like, whatever this is, you're going to share with the world about how you... Ten of Wands, how you struggle, how you went through things. You're going to tell people how you got through these things. Some of y'all may even write a book. Yeah, the strength, how you overcame these obstacles in your life. This is somebody's story this morning. Yeah, Nine of Wands in reverse. Like, look, y'all are going to tell people how you conquered, how you made it through. How you survive. Because you were so temperate. And tempered. Sorry. Some of you guys could be a Sagittarius. Okay. But you guys are a true earth angel. Temperate. Very temperate type of energy. Temperate. Sagittarius energy. Eight of Pentacles. Like you're going to do this for work. And you're not going to be lying. Seven of Swords in reverse. Like this shit is the truth. Some people may try to, you know, bash you like, oh, they didn't go through all that. They don't know what the fuck you went through, collective. Only you know. In spirit, look. They mad because you healed from this shit. Star card. You could be an Aquarius. Look, and you made shit happy. By you healing, you manifested something so magnificent here I'm hearing. Something magnificent is arriving for you. The magician. Like, whatever it is that you want collective, you get it every time. Because you know how to walk away from shit. And you don't allow shit or situations to keep you stuck. Eight of swords. Like, that's the most... <sighs> I just heard something.
So they just said, <laughs> they just said, um, a lot of people that have experienced you collecting and you walked away from these people, you actually gained like some sort of respect. Like these could have been people that felt like you didn't deserve to be treated like a queen or a king or you didn't deserve respect. But now people see you. Okay, these could be people from your past. Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords. A lot of people try to keep you stuck in this energy. Sorry that I just paused like that, y'all. Like, yeah, they tried to keep, look, the Seven of Swords, when we were talking about you, it was like this, in reverse. But look, when I'm talking about these people that you left, seven of swords that came out these were some liars these are people that were deceitful like yeah but you heal from that star card you're very tempered at this time like yeah and you blocking their ass seven to one some of y'all you're also gonna include in this biography i'm picking up whatever this is for you this novel this book you're going to, like, teach people how to, like, protect their energy. Something with their spirituality, too. You're going to teach people how to block out interference, you know, and heal. Learn how to heal and to know what they desire. Yeah, Five of Cups. Y'all leaving people, like, in the Five of Cups feeling very regretful. And sorry for the way they treated you. Some of y'all are going to add these lovers in here too. Yeah, look, eight of wands. Forward movement. Some of these people are going to want to communicate with you when you do whatever this is. Because I'm telling y'all, if this resonates to you, if you're going to be telling your story, this is going to make you some millions. I don't know who this is, but... Whoever you are is going to blow up. Like, people are going to want to know. They're going to watch you. They're going to want to know, like, who you are. People want to know who you are. Yeah, we got four of cups in the chariot. Some of y'all are moving forward. You are not missing this opportunity. Somebody else missed this opportunity. I'm here to come with you, to travel with you. They can't come. They cannot come. Look, page of swords, they, all they can do is watch you. All they gonna do is watch you, and they're gonna feel heartbroken. Because some of y'all are gonna add these lovers in there. That's for some of y'all. You gonna add, yeah, the high priestess in the world. Like, I'm telling y'all, intuition on point. But some of y'all are just gonna be putting the end to things here. Somebody wanted you to put an end to your intuition. King of Swords. Like this person here, they don't like what you do. They don't believe in what you do. Yeah. Death card in reverse. For some of y'all, this could be a Scorpio. This person didn't believe in you and what you do. That's for somebody here. What else? This is brilliant, though. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Now they sitting around thinking about this. Can't sleep at night. Hierophant could be a Taurus here. Yeah, this person's going through judgment. There's a Taurus energy here that's going through judgment. If you're on the good side of karma, this is not you. If you're a Taurus... On the good side, this is not you. But if you are a Taurus and a Nine of Swords, worry, stressed, having anxiety, this is your karma. So, yeah. Somebody here betrayed the Earth Angel. That's what this is. Somebody didn't know exactly who they were dealing with. And they went on and betrayed this person. And now somebody's facing like karma. That's just what it is. What else is this? I just heard people are gonna know your name. I'm telling you. 
some of y'all are about to get this story i just seen diamond in the rough they mishandled you i'm telling y'all look now somebody feel like if you keep rejecting them they're gonna snap but man how you gonna snap on me bro like or sis i don't understand these look <laughs> bro <Bruh. laughs> All right, three cards fell out for y'all. Look, know that you are loved by the universe, okay, collective? Didn't I say this? You guys are favored. You are protected. Y'all comment below, 666. What is this? We need to know. Look at this. You will be extremely abundant. I can't never make it the fuck up. This is why somebody stressed out too. Cause it's almost giving me two, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hold on. It's almost giving two, like did this Taurus or whoever this person is, this Scorpio, whoever. Gemini, I heard. Did like did this person know that you were gonna be doing something like this? Like an autobiography or writing a book or sharing your story did this person look into something because how would they know that's what it's giving like this person wanted to be attached to you some type of way to share this abundance that y'all about to receive if not already some of you guys are about to tell your story tell your story look money coming in i can't make it up i cannot make it up it seemed like somebody wanted to stay, like, attached to you because of this. Y'all be aware of that. Yeah, now they want to say you make them happy. For some of you guys, you actually do make this person happy. But look, I can't make it the... Thank you, Holy Spirit. I got to start trusting in myself more about what I be saying and what I feel. Didn't I say this person want to stay stuck to you due to look? Hey, you can't tell me nothing because this is you. Money coming in. You know that you are loved by the universe. And it got, you will be extremely abundant. That's you. That is y'all energy. You cannot tell me that's not the collective. Look, poverty, this not you. Now, for some of y'all, you could be coming from poverty to abundance, okay? But I strongly feel like it's this person. This person that won't go away. This person that's in the nine of swords. This Taurus, this Scorpio, whoever. Somebody in fucking poverty. So they wanted to become attached to you. So you can help them. Look. Oh, y'all unprotected. Y'all, wait a minute. For some of y'all, I'm telling you, I don't care if you let me clarify that because I don't need nobody commenting talking about no kids and all that. I understand it. I have a child too. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, somebody here is so desperate for the money. This is what they gonna try to do. If you are of childbearing ages, let me, you know. <laughs> Collective. Unprotected sex and poverty. This is a fucking man. Like, this is a man. Usually women do shit like this. Y'all hear me? Usually women, you know, trap men with babies because that man is rich or that man is wealthy, whatever. But nowadays, you got men out here doing this. Because some of these men don't want to work. And it's sad. Like, y'all, look, I'm not talking shit. I'm just talking to real. There is some men out here want to be the female in a relationship that do shit like this unprotected sex in poverty he broke he will rather get you pregnant so he can have some type of attachment to you 
as far as finances. What kind of shit is that? Because y'all got money. <laughs> Some of y'all got money. If you don't, it's coming in slowly but surely for you. But look, some of y'all got that. Man, y'all, look, you would be extremely abundant in money coming in. This person either see that you are stable or this person knows that this is what's about to happen. Either way, they trying to trap your ass collective. Look, for some of y'all, this is a Gemini. <laughs> What else is this? This some bullshit. Like, no. They out here. Look. You make me want to change for the better. So that's a good thing, Collective. You do make this person want to change for the better. But how, though? If they just want to get you pregnant because they broke. Like, this is crazy. Y'all really be aware of this because some of y'all, you about to be like a millionaire. <laughs> Y'all about to be like a millionaire for real. I'm not just saying this. And I know a lot of like readers say this, but I'm really feeling it. I don't know. Some of y'all may just go play a machine and just hit some shit like a jackpot or something. Like it's something. Spirit say, look, you're going to be extremely abundant. Spirit say money coming in regardless. So, y'all got some <laughs> We got Virgo here. Y'all be aware of these fucking signs that's trying to get you pregnant. Don't have sex with these people unprotected. A Virgo, a Gemini, a Taurus, a Scorpio. What is this? Look, I just seen Capricorn. Look, didn't I say a fucking Taurus? Don't do it. Look, ancestors are watching over you, though, collective, whoever you are. <sighs> Somebody trying to get y'all pregnant, though. I just feel it. My stomach hurting all of a sudden. Look, soulmate, this is why. This person feels like you're their soulmate. Look, and this is a soulmate that slept on you. Didn't I say they only... Man, don't let this person come back. Look, because it's show time to show up and shine. And this person going to come back and say, I only want you. Fuck that. No, this person, collective. Don't let this person come back and use you. You are about to be a millionaire. You about to be famous, honey. Whoever you are, I'm telling you. Don't let these fucking people come back into your life because of what they feel you can bring to the table. Now, if they coming to meet you halfway, that's different. Collective. Like, if they can be in alignment with you, that's totally different. But if you just coming to piggyback off me and to bring your tin of wands, your burdens to my table, no. Dismiss your motherfucking self. Look, they slept on you. Now they in regrets. I'm telling you, they slept on you. They never imagined what's about to happen for you. They never imagined this shit. Y'all don't let this person come back. Look, because you been working hard. You been putting in the work. Don't let this person come back and reap your benefits that the universe is blessing you with. I don't give a fuck who this is. Ex-lover, new lover, friend, family. I don't give a damn who it is. If you an older person out there, you got kids, like my age or so, I'm 30. But even then, don't let your kids use you. Nobody, mama, daddy, brothers. Look, because whoever you are, you've been working hard and you deserve a break and it's coming. Like, you deserve whatever this is. Do not let, look, he's not the, thank you, Holy Spirit. Need I say more? Thank you, Holy Spirit. He ain't the one. This is giving like a gigolo, a male gigolo. Like somebody, fuck that. No, if he ain't hard working, I don't want it. Like, no. Queen of Wands, right. Because you sexy as hell. Very confident, very courageous, very passionate about what you do. 
So if they can't come towards you and be passionate like you, like no. You don't you don't want that. Like no. I'm like, why my shirt stuck? <laughs> Look, your intuition is correct about this situation. I'm telling y'all, this person don't mean you no good. They coming back because they see this transformation. I'm telling you, for some of y'all, this is a fucking Scorpio. Look, a divine masculine, a Scorpio. This divine masculine is having money issues. Like, they're in poverty. Whoever this is, they're going through poverty. And they see you doing something. And they want to bring that. Don't let this motherfucker come back collecting. Look. I almost fell out. <laughs> what that say? Thinking of a way to get back into your life. I can't never sit up here and make this shit up. Could be an Aries. Like, no. I'm getting heavy on the Scorpio, though. Look. Now they wish they could tell you how they feel. Look at this shit right... Look at... I'm fucking gone. Y'all fucking with somebody that's truly... <laughs> They're not independent, baby. Look at this. Let's move in together? Y'all, like, y'all not even... I don't even feel like y'all fucking with this person like that. And they got the audacity to come to you and ask you, can y'all move in together? It's a no. I'm telling y'all, this person know what you got going on, Collective. They stalk you and shit. Look, listen to music. Some of y'all need to listen to music, meditate, and get your mind right. Because no. Don't even look. King of Wands, have faith in all you do. And I'm a player. I'm telling y'all. For some of y'all, this a Leo. Leo Aries Sagittarius. This person want to come back because they see you doing some shit in your life. Like, hell no, nah, this is a male gigolo. Look, some of y'all got a Gemini that's jerking off to your photos or a Virgo. You know how to trigger them some way. Like, ooh. Yeah, I've done some things I'm not proud of. Would you leave me if you find out? These people. Let me see. Let me pull you guys a um, Wild Muse card. Let's see. I'm excited. But I'm telling y'all, you got abundance coming in for you, Collector Hill. You already abundant by the knowledge that you know already. By all these obstacles you've been through. You already wise. Whoever I'm connected to. That's why people want to interview you. People want you to share your knowledge with them. People want you to share what you've been through. This gonna be, man. I'm telling y'all. Some of y'all about to be some like millionaires. Because you about to tell your story. And you're going to inspire people. But then you got this bummy ass person. I'm sorry. But you got this user, this male gigolo coming towards you. Like, I don't appreciate that. Because you put in the work. Man, look at this shit. This how this person look at you. I just heard, uh, I look good feeling like a bag of money. Ooh, it say every step counts collected. I told you, you've been putting in that work. Yes, look, you've been sacrificing, honey. Sacrifices, you've been sacrificing to get where you need to be. Let's see what every step counts. The number 22. Could be significant. So we got 666 six, six in the number 22. Every step counts. Let's hurry up because my phone is up. It says being goal oriented and driven is probably one of the quickest ways to reach your goals. No amount of manifestation, journaling, or meditation will get you to where you're trying to go without action and dedication. But when it say, but when we are in this powerhouse mindset, 
what can be easily forgotten is celebrating every step along the way, no matter how little or large. Every bit of effort, every attempt to do better, to become the best version of yourself should be celebrated. Didn't I say? Y'all about to celebrate. It say, quit saving the fabulous outfit or fancy dinner or drinks for the right occasion. Being present is is reason enough to have fun and acknowledge all of your accomplishments because every step whether for, forward to the side or backward each moment contributed to your life and personal journey each one matters every step every count that's beautiful so like i said through the good and the bad you've been through it all so you are about to experience your abundance for the struggles for everything you've been through. In every step counting. I don't give a fuck what nobody say or what you, you know, been through. They don't know what you've been through. You know. Y'all put in so much work collecting whoever you are. And guess what? This smells good, y'all. Nicki Minaj. Y'all go get him. I got another one too, y'all. I like this Vera Wang Princess. This smells so good, y'all. So keep smelling good. You hear me? So y'all about to be famous. Yeah, that's crazy. I put that perfume on. Y'all about to be famous. I'm telling you, you about to be a fucking millionaire, whoever you are. And that's bringing me back to that Capricorn reading. Go watch it if you haven't. You will be the first to do it in your family. Some of y'all are about to be a millionaire. And y'all got an old bump collective. I'm sorry, spirit. Look, because I've been there, done that. I didn't been house to house. You hear me? I didn't been there, done that. But I'm saying... These people wouldn't be able to survive in your shoes and go through what you had to go through. Do you hear me? And they feel like they deserve some of your blessings. Like, was you house to house with me? Was you broke with me? All of that. Was you busting it with me? Was you doing any of this with me? Was you at the hospital with me? Any of this? Like, no. 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 They can't go with you. And it's period. It's period. Spirit said no. This is for you. My child. They can't go. It's a no. Heavy on the fucking toys in Scorpio. Heavy on them. In Gemini. But no. They can't go with you collective. So take this message as it resonates. Congratulations. Tell your story. Speak your truth. Whoever you are. Don't be afraid. Have that courage to tell what you've been through. There's no judgment here. If some of y'all want to comment below. I'll listen. Tell me what you've been through. Y'all comment below. Because y'all know I don't mind sharing. I just had seen 333. Damn, y'all getting all these numbers in this reading. 3333-666. Y'all look up those numbers. So, y'all tell me what y'all been through. If you feel the need to, okay? Take care, collective. Love y'all.